finance is so boring. It's just a complicated game that no one ever seems to win. Well, now that's where you're wrong. We're the Game Girls, and we're going to show you that finance is a game which, if played properly, does not have to be boring, nor do you have to be a loser. Our game is Financial Footprints. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Jess. This is a large version of our game. We have children, teenagers, adults and old people. The game has four stages that reflect the life cycle. It becomes personal to the student as they move through their life, seeing how their financial decisions could pan out. Players move from the beginning to the centre of the board whilst being asked questions relevant to their section. The winner is the person who reaches the centre first, answering the most questions correctly and so achieving wealth and happiness in old age. Financial Footprint retails at £39.99. This includes five sets of the game, providing enough equipment for 20 players. We chose 20 as the average class size in the UK is 20.1 students. Let's start off with childhood. At this age, children have to learn how and where they're going to spend their pocket money and other financial decisions that are shaped by their values and beliefs. The board game market grew by 5.3% in 2008. In September 2011, financial education will be made compulsory in schools. Take your first steps into the financial world. Let's move on to being a teenager. Here, students are faced with products that they may already use in their everyday lives. We hope that this round will make students question their own personal finances. 90% of teenagers say they worry about money on a daily basis. Hi, my name is Luke. Moving round to the adults. At this stage, you have made a large number of financial decisions based on what type of job you have. This and other factors will shape the way you live. Well, in 2008, the Every Child Matters scheme was introduced. Schools must provide students with the opportunity to achieve economic well-being in life. Financial Footprints simulates monetary decisions that students will have to make as they go through life. So, helping them to achieve economic well-being. 93% of parents and teachers think that personal finance should be taught in schools. Hello, my name is Jonathan Gregory, Head of Economics at Plymouth College. We will now move on to old age. Students may not be able to relate to this stage, but it is important that players realise that they need to plan for this stage in their lives. We aim to launch nationally in time for September 2011. We will advertise at the Bet Show and in the Times Educational Supplement. Through this, we aim to get an 8% market share by the end of year two, with a total of 249 secondary schools. The game will only be sold online. Up till now, our lives have focused on exams, exams and more exams. When the Apprentice Challenge came along, we were wary, yet more work. How wrong we turned out to be. The challenge made us look at finance, stretched us and made us realise how money makes the world go round. It has been an eye-opening and exciting dimension that we would never have looked into if we had not taken up the Apprentice Challenge and we have benefited greatly from the experience.